Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Walsh here. Welcome back to another FIFA 18 video. And today we have got this cracking episode for you. The last episode, the transfer window open. So there's going to be a lot of negotiations going over this episode and over the next three episodes, actually, because the transfer window will shut this Friday, which is episode 16. But anyway, make sure you vote for Play of the Week, which will be Featuring next episode, guys, that link is in the description. Currently at the moment, it is level with Bradley Dak and Richie Smallwood. But you have the option to change that just by clicking the vote button in the description. But anyway, I've got three cracking games here. Let's find out who they're again. So we will be playing Rotherham on the 1st of January. Preston in the Emirates FA Cup. A nice derby there. And then we are playing AFC Wimbledon in the league. So hopefully we can leave ourselves with six points in it and advance further in the FA Cup because I believe we are pushing forward quite a bit right now. But we need the brand exposure as well. We need to sign a critical first team player, which is a highest rated player, which we didn't sign. We signed Brereton. But... It wasn't good enough. Right, so we need to change the form with the so we do need to change the team around quite a bit this game round because of tiredness. Here it's been games after games recently, and it's no change to start off 2018. Ray is staying in goals, but maybe a Romero, a youth player, Downing and Williams in the defence, Chapman, Whitnam, Pedersen, Rank and Costello and Tomlinson in midfield, and then Joe Nett all up front. So we do have a combination of two veterans in the middle with two um with three actually youngsters in the team and then not all up front. So hopefully we can, this is a big, big gamble. But I think, you know what? We're top of the league, like 15 points clear. Let's risk it and let's jump into the game. We got Costello. Joe Nettall. Oh, Nettall's turned, fed the net, and he scores! Joe Nettall has scored on his debut for Blackburn Rovers. His first start in as many... And he whips it in. The net has been fed already and it's only been 25 minutes. Great free kick. Joe Nettle there turns, whips him inside out. What a goal. Uh-oh. Oh, never. Oh, what a save. What a save from David Rea. Oh, yes, Chapman. Nice. I think he might be offside, but Joe Nettle's for one goal. He's always oh, straight in the goalkeeper's hands. 44 minutes gone. I'll do Yes, he made an absolute last ditch to that guy. And see you, Chappers. Oh! 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 He's got him! He's got him! We've won! We've been a wrong run with literally half a side. Half a side. What a game. Chapman played well. Nuttall getting the winning goal. Is this... The unbeatable side the Blackburn need. Okay, let's have a quick look around the grounds, guys. We need to be looking at Plymouth Argyle, who did actually win. They've won their recent game, but they're starting to catch up with us a little bit now, which I think is actually quite big. Um, but even though we've just we probably just extend our league a little bit. But a lot of transfer stuff coming in as well, which you'll be able to see over the next couple of episodes. We'll see quite a lot of transfer news going on. Okay, as expected... Quite a lot of transfer offers coming in. David Ray are now playing really, really well at the moment. Um, they all, he is valued at 775, 820 grand, Sheffield United. But this jumping in a negotiation pose a new offer. And I'm going to be valuing him at 1.5 million. Let's have a look and see what they say about it. Oh, he's completely kicked off. I wish this didn't happen as often, right? Because that's only double what he's actually worth, right? It's not lots. But they kick off straight away. It's like, we're not paying our amounts. Well, why don't you negotiate with me then? Negotiate a price for my number one goalkeeper. Negotiate with me. But no, you won't. That's what it seems to be. But anyway, right, I'm going to change the side round completely. I want to show you it right now. And let's have a quick look. See what team we're going out with against Preston. Okay, so we are going to be going out with our usual team that we do go out with. The goal prolific goal scorer, Brereton up front, Bradley Dat just behind him, Smallwood Frill making up that midfield, and then the other two centre backs, Van Hurst and Mulgrew. And then our wings, Nelson, Cardis, Bennett, Sessignon making up the team. What a cracking team this could be. But we are playing a championship side. Will we be able to keep up with the pace? Let's find out. Good attack and play. 
good start to the game. One minute in. Oh, what a save. What a start. It's out. Yes, Bradley Dak. Bradley Dak going for the shot. Oh, oh my God. I thought that was in. That was unbelievable. Bradley Dak. You can tell why he's up for play of the week. We thought it was going to be number one of the game. Oh, yes, Bennett. Go for the shot. Oh. Richie Smallwood, we know what's going to be happening, yeah? We know it. We know it. We are. Oh, it's off the bar. On the rebound. And again. Oh, back to Caddis. He's going to whip that in on the bird turn. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. El Shinawe. Oh, Harper. Harper's just come on as a sub. He's going to go for the shot. Oh, what a save. Oh, my God. It's another unbelievable save from the goalkeeper. Can he keep this one out, though? It's clear. Anyway, the game does end up actually finishing. And we end up drawing nil-nil, which means we have to go to a replay in the future, which is just going to add to us. I think we were a lot, lot better than them. <laughs> um, I thought we were a lot, lot better. But anyway, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump into, actually, just before I jump into the training session, I want to share with you the lead table before we jump into the Wimbledon game. We are now a 16 points clear of Plymouth Argyle. So we're absolutely dominating at the moment, which is incredible. Only three losses, best goal defensive and goals for record um, in the league. Um, and we are going to be playing Wimbledon now, who are actually 14th. So we could easily leave you with three points. But anyway, right, let's jump into a game. Burton couldn't put the ball away last uh, game. But let's be honest, the goalkeeper was something else. A lot of you commented on this player saying that he's insane when he develops. But of course, make sure you vote in the comment sec in the description. There's a link for Player of the Week, which will feature on Wednesday. So make sure you get your votes in before then. We'll find out who that will actually be very soon. But anyway, it's showing his game against Wimbledon, the final game of the episode. Oh my God! How did he save that? Oh, damn it. Oh, yes, Bradley Dak. Good little play. You're going to have to put your foot down. You're going to have to... Nice. Yeah, there it is. Finally broken the deadlock 20 minutes later. Edwards, who starts this game, didn't start the previous one. But Bradley Dak winning the ball exquisitely in midfield. Burton leaving it, a little shot, and Edwards just there, tapping it into an open. Oh, we're through our goal, but the final whistle has blown. We've beaten Wimbledon 1-0. It's another low-scoring game for us. I'm thinking next episode we go, we need to start Graham again. That's what I'm going to be doing next episode, guys. But we leave Wimbledon with three points. It's nevertheless, it doesn't matter how you get the points. It is three points. That's the main. And that's what we did there with that Edwards got. Very interesting game. Very even game as well. But how did the results fare around the ground? Because in all fairness, Plymouth Argyle are catching up with us. But we've just extended our league lead from them, probably to it 19 points, depending on how other results went after they just lost their recent game. And there you can see it there. 19 points clear of everyone in the league. This is absolutely incredible. So what I'm very tempted now is that, is that we do start playing a lot of more of our youth players just to change it up a little bit. Maybe that's something we do next episode, I would say. Because next episode, we have got some absolute cracking games lined up for you. i got Shrewsbury. We're playing Preston again. Then we are playing Fleetwood in the league. We are going to be playing Northampton as well. So I will play all three of those games in one... All four of those games in one episode. But... Uh, I'm saying absolute cracking, cracking results so far. But uh, anyway, right, I want to show you quite quickly the top goal scorer and everything like that. Unfortunately, uh, Burton is not scoring now. He was joint top goal scorer last two games. He hasn't scored. Do we start Graham next time out? I don't know. But the thing is, though, he's getting chance after chance after chance. It's just the last two goalkeepers he's faced have been incredible. There's no other way to put it. 
But uh, anyway, right. Will we change? I don't know. Look at that. Incre oh, absolute scenes at the top of the assist table. And then, of course, same with David Rea now with 11 clean sheets for the season with the last two games. But uh, anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Of course, don't forget to hit that like button. But the big thing is, guys, who will be player of the week? We'll be seeing that next episode. You've got your last chance to vote now for the next two days. In the description, there will be a link, so make sure you check that out. But anyway, guys, my name is Welsh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.